King Opasari, we have traveled throughout the galaxy, and I think it's safe to say that this is the most beautiful planet that we've ever visited. Thank you. We believe that paradise should be experienced now, not in the tales of old books. That's great. What are you doing? I've got glitter in my eyes. This is the most important mission we've ever been trusted with. Don't act like a child. Captain, you and I should go Bordak hunting. It is the traditional way that our people bond two tribes together who mean to have peaceful relations. That would be excellent. What is a Bordak? Oh, they're the indigenous people who we stole this planet from. Hmm. Why are you using a Blarnip to eat a Rashmore? What are you from Darnargal? <laughs> That's where poor people live. There is so much our people have to offer each other. Captain, I must admit, it has been a desire of mine for quite some time to join the Galactic Union. But let's be honest, you and I both know it's only because of our abundant quadlithium mines. What? Psst, nah, quadlithium. I mean, sure. That's one of the most important elements for building our communicators, but the Galactic Union has very strict rules about who they let in. And, uh, and according to my paperwork, uh, you've met all of them, so I say welcome aboard. Thank you. Do not talk to the slaves. It's forbidden in our world. Slavery, how traditional. The Ugre slave has a secret message to deliver, but should he pass it to Captain Sunstrike or Dr. Reyna, the decision is yours to make. Click on the screen to make your choice. Make sure YouTube's annotations are enabled, and if you're using a device that can't use Flash, go to the time in the video below your choice until you see the appropriate number. In honor of our new brotherhood, I offer my daughter's hand in marriage. Oh, uh, um, I am deeply flattered, but unfortunately I will have to decline. No, Captain, I don't mean to you. I mean to the doctor. The doctor? Don't you just think it's hotter when it's two women together? And... In celebration, we shall sacrifice a thousand Bordak! Captain Sunstrike must now choose. Make a speech of moral superiority and condemn these people, or instead, to turn a blind eye and put the mission first. The choice is yours. and diplomats of the Galactic Union. That means being respectful of their culture and eating something that you might not be used to. Oh, God damn it.
Should Dr. Reyna stand up for what she believes in by expressing her moral outrage? Or should she ignore her heart and put the mission first? Only you can decide. King Opasari, we have been sent here to finalize an important diplomatic mission for the Galactic Union. And unfortunately, I refuse to complete that mission. There is something stirring in my bones, and it's my conscience. The Galactic Union does not permit me to judge other cultures, so I will simply say this. We were once like you in our own history, inhuman and barbaric, but we overcame this. We overcame it. Think of the Galactic Union as a table, a place where family can sit down together. But instead of family members, these family members are planets and worlds joining together at the table. And what do you do before you sit down at a table? You wash your hands. You need to wash your hands of this slavery business. And then you're more than welcome to sit down and join us at the table. <laughs> Your people's sense of humor! <laughs> what do you mean, you people? <laughs> because of course, if you actually meant this, I would have to execute all of you! <laughs> no joke. We were joking. I have heard of this sarcasm thing. Ah, that's exactly what I was doing. I was doing sarcasm. It's brilliant. I love it. And you picked it up right away. I'm very proud of you. <laughs> that's great. More, uh, more laughing, pal. <laughs> I mean, what, what else is there to say? But um, welcome to the Galactic Union. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> so this Bordak hunting, is that, uh, is that like a morning thing, or? Well, it can be done in the morning, but it's better to hunt them at night. That way you can shine a light on them and they freeze. It makes it much easier to shoot them. Sounds like there's a lot of sport in that. Oh, we are grateful for the offer, I assure you, but um, unfortunately that won't be possible because she is already my wife. We are married as husband and wife and we are very happy. What? We're not married. We were secretly married, only hours ago. And that is why we must reject his offer for you to marry his daughter, Princess Tilon. We are married. We're married. We are a married couple and we love that. But multiple wives are perfectly acceptable in our culture. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. So like, the three of us? Well, the three of you'd be fine. It would be for peace. What, you don't like peace now? Sorry, I have something very important I need to say to you. When I first arrived on your planet, I was impressed with its beauty. But I quickly learned it was merely an illusion. Nope, just a beautiful planet all the way through. Everything you have has been built on the backs of slavery. Slavery. <laughs> slavery. Yes, slavery. Have you no morals? The Galactic Union is only interested in your stupid crystals 
so our communicators can be made a little cheaper. Dr. That's Rena, it. I order you to shut your face. You know, I find your world absolutely detestable. Wonderful. It's a beautiful no. world. This is an outrage. Guards, take them to the execution chambers. Oh. You couldn't just write a whiny blog after the fact like you always do? I'm sorry. You had to run your mouth and get us executed. I got a little excited, I know. You got us. I just, I got a little excited and... Uh, and decided to kill us. Oops! <laughs> Finishing your meal, I command you to eat. Oh, oh no! Thank you. I, I, I will. I will eat. Thank you for this wonderful feast. Thank you, Princess Tealon, for your hospitality. Your planet is quite beautiful. You're welcome. I must also say that you were also very beautiful. Go on. You remind me a lot of my ex-girlfriend. She was very beautiful as well. How dare you! It is forbidden to regurgitate in my presence. Guards, imprison her! I'm sorry, but it is our way. Guards! What, uh, what you don't realize is that um, regurgitation is a sign of appreciation mm -hmm. for an excellent meal. Mm -hmm. uh, Powell, show them how much you enjoyed the meal. <sighs> she, uh, look how much she's enjoying it. And, um, and I, I liked it too. But, uh... Daddy, imprison them! It was delicious. It really was. We're all just having a real good time. Beautiful planet. You guys are great. Mm.